Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions. Yes, 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 I'm uploading a ton today. I'm trying to get as much uploaded as I can, not just Dragon Ball, but the other shows as well. So, figured I'd try and, you know, get closer to finishing the other two shows that I'm planning on finishing, you know, the most, which is Black Butler and Sailor McCrystal. I'm trying to get those two out of the way, so that way I can get to work on Akatsuki no Yona and Overlord. Anyway, uh, this episode is for a review of Cinema Crystal, episode 15, which is the start of the, start of the Black Moon arc. Anyway, uh, the girl popped up out of the portal and claims her name is Usagi. Just like Se uh, Usagi, you know, the Usagi we know. And she threatened Usagi with a gun, wanting the so legendary Silver Crystal. Obviously, she wasn't going to give it to her. Turns out the gun was a toy. Thank goodness for Osagi. And the kid ended up running off after that. And when they find her, uh, she ends up staying with Usagi and her family, tricking her parents into letting them stay. And they end up calling her Chibi Usa because, you know, she's like a mini, uh, mini Usagi. Anyway, uh, let's see. Um, well, while this is going on, obviously the villains are plotting something. Something to do with the legendary silver crystal, obviously. Cause why not? Why don't everybody go after it? Anyway, they send out one of their subordinates, and, um, Array School is actually having a bit of a culture festival and she was asked to do like you know fortune telling because she's a priestess she ends up doing so but another but the woman from before on the black moon she's telling you know when someone's going to die fortunes or rather misfortunes I guess I should say anyway um yeah it turns out the she ends up attacking the group because she wants to face down Ray because they both use the same element. Hang on. Dang it. Sorry, I'm typing while I talk and I'm kind of getting myself distracted. Anyway, um, yeah, she attacks Ray and the others trans- everybody transforms, obviously, and... Hang on. Uh, in order to beat her, because of Usagi and Tuxedo Mask, they end up summoning, uh, her mother's staff, or scepter, whatever you want to call it, and uses the new attack and completely obliterates the woman. Because, though, before this happened, Rei was engulfed in fire, sadly, they could not put the fire out. And the bad guy shows up and takes Ray with him. So now we are down one Sailor Scout. Which is not good. And Usagi, uh, Chibi Usa is watching this whole thing. And not even saying anything to the others about why she's even there. Because essentially all this, end up, all this stuff that ends up happening could be avoided if she just told them what was going on from the start. They could have possibly, you know, not lost Ray and anybody else. Hint, did he hint? But no, she kept quiet the whole time. I understand she was scared and everything, but still, they needed to know, or else essentially history would repeat itself. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's how the episode ends: is Ray being kidnapped. So now they're down one Sailor Scout. What are they going to do? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, and I will see you all next time.